JDI Publisher, where we publish your book the right way the first time. We will take your book from a dream idea to the major retailers like Barnes and Nobles and other stores. We also distribute non-published authors across the country. Call us today at 804-591-5956 or check us out on the web at www.joniquedesign.com. That's J-O-N-I-Q-U-E-D-E-S-I-G-N.com. Publish your book today. Hello, this is Jimmy Jamra with the Evangelist Jimmy Jamra with the Publishing Hour Show. And I'm on location here in Nashville, Tennessee, the home of Music City, USA. And I have Rita McDonald with the Chamber, Nashville Chamber of Commerce. And uh, we had talked about, um, I think the earlier part of the year, about a community project. And uh, I wanted to just kind of emphasize on what you can do in your community all over the world. So I have here Rita McDonald, and welcome to the Publishing Hour show today. Thank you, Jimmy. It's so good to be here. And let me welcome you back to Nashville, Tennessee, which is your hometown. She didn't tell y'all that. But let me welcome you back to Nashville. And Jimmy's a good friend of mine. We grew up together. We were practically almost born together. And, uh, and so it's good to have my girlfriend back, uh, back home with me. Uh, but what I'd like to do is just, first of all, kind of update you from the last session that we had on One Nashville. Um, I am the Director of Community and Business Engagement for Education here in, at the Nashville Chamber. And One Nashville is a community initiative that we launched um, in September of 2010. So it's almost a year old. Uh, the Chamber of Commerce created One Nashville to be a place, to be a place where the community could go to to see what needs to be done to help our metro public school system. Uh, what we were experiencing here at the Chamber is so many of our community people, constituents, businesses, everybody were saying, we know metro schools need help, but we don't know what to do when to do it, how to do it, where to do it. So the chamber realizing that we need to have a healthy public education system, we came up with this um, with this creative idea to say, okay, if you don't know what needs to be done, when you need to do it, where you need to do it, how you need to do it, we'll create a place where you can go and see those answers. And that's what One Nashville is. It's www.onenashville.org. And I encourage everybody to go there. Um, this model, to our knowledge, uh, has, it's not out there anywhere. So it would be a great practice uh, for anyone uh, in particular that's trying to uh, help and make their public education system healthier. Uh, because we realize nationally we do have some bar barriers and some challenges with all metro public schools, unfortunately. So uh, One Nashville, again, um, is a community initiative to support Metro Public Schools. Now, um, it was launched again in September 2010, so it's almost a year old again. Uh, and I'd just like to give you an update on it. Uh, you know, we had goals that we wanted to meet. Uh, we measured uh, our success with One Nashville, and uh, as of July 1, we did meet all of our goals, and, and in fact, we exceeded uh, some of our goals with One Nashville. Uh, and uh, there are three ways that you can help with Metro Public Schools here. You're either going to volunteer something, you're going to donate something, or you're going to advocate something. And so when you go to OneNashville.org, that's what you'll see. And then once you go into those different entities, then it'll let you know what you can do to help. And, uh, and so we measured all three of those uh, areas, and we exceeded in the volunteer engagement part, well exceeded, uh, which was to us the most important thing because we wanted to engage the community. I mean, that, that's my job, is to go out here and get this entire community engaged in Metro Public Schools. So we exceeded in, in that area and was very, very happy about it. Um, we met our goals and actually went over a little in the donate part and as well as the advocate part. 
Yeah, so we really did well. In fact, One Nashville won a bronze award with the American Chamber of Commerce Executives. Uh, that's a national uh, organization through Washington, D.C., U.S. Chamber of Commerce. So we won a bronze award for the creative part of it and the quality part of it and the fact that we were able to get so many of our community people engaged. And so it really, it really went well. I mean, it, you know, even our teachers and uh, staff within Metro Public Schools were overwhelmed because all of a sudden they had these people, you know, organizations, individuals, parents, you know, wanting to come in and help. And a lot of the teachers didn't know how to take it because they were like, well, wait a minute. You know, there, it was just an overwhelming thing. So I just wanted to update you on One Nashville. It's still rolling. School uh, here in Nashville, um, it, uh, it actually started on uh, the 11th. On Thursday was a half a day for our Metro students. So today is Monday, the 15th of August, and it's a full day. They're going today starting full speed. And so One Nashville is up and running, and we are out there. And then uh, over the summer, I, uh, I assumed a little bit more responsibility, still in the education arena. Uh, at first, you know, I was going out to engage the community. Well, now I'm engaging the community and businesses uh, in, in, uh, in our metro public schools. And the chamber, um, we, work with, um, we work with what we call in metro public schools the Academies of Nashville. And uh, these academies of Nashville are in all high schools here in Metro Public Schools except our magnet high schools. But they're in all the high schools, and it starts in the ninth grade, of course. That's where high school starts here. And uh, the, the strategy of the academies are to get the high school students uh, career-minded, start, start to have them start thinking about maybe what they think they may want to do or even what they want to do. Uh, and so how it works with academies, um, we have six industries uh, that's broken down. And I'm just going to tell these to you real quick. Uh, you've got your arts, media, and communications. You've got business, marketing, and information technology. You've got engineering, manufacturing, and industrial technology. You've got your health industry hospitality and tourism, and then you've got your human and public service industry. So there are six industries um, that's divided amongst all the high schools. Some of the high schools have two of the industries. Some of the high schools have all of the industries. Uh, some of the high schools may have one, three, four, and et cetera. But the idea is through all of these industries, and we pretty much covered with these six industries all of the things that you could do as a career whether you go to college or not you know we want our high school students to just again start thinking about what they think they may want to do and then once they uh, decide that then they'll know what it's going to take for them to be that and some of these careers it doesn't take you to go to college you know you may uh, need to go to maybe just have to go to a community school or you may just uh, need to get some type of certification and that's okay. Uh, and then uh, some of the other industries will require you to go to college. It just depends on what you want to be. And so we wanted to introduce this to high school because what we discovered was that according to research, and this is national, most uh, kids drop out of school. The highest percentage rate of kids dropping out of school is in the ninth grade. And, of course, they drop out all through, you know, the whole t different grades, but the ninth grade had the highest percentage. And so the idea there was, why, why is that happening? What, why are they dropping out of school? And so, um, you know, according to research, the kids didn't have anything to look forward to. Uh, they didn't, you know, they didn't, uh, they were not motivated. You know, they didn't understand why taking algebra was important or why, you know, biology was important. You know, some of these classes that they have to take in high school, you know, they didn't know what that was gonna do for them. You know, what's the point? You know, this is useless. And so introducing these academies into the high school helps to give a broader 
awareness and understanding to the student, you know, why you're taking math. You know, for example, if a student decides to go into the health partnership, which is health is very popular these days. I mean, that, that health industry is, the, is our number one industry nationally. And so if a student decides to go into the health industry, whether they want to be a nurse or a doctor or practitioner or um, I don't know what all the different titles are, you know, unit clerk in a hospital or any, you know, whatever, radiologist, um, they'll understand when they have to take a certain course why they're taking that. They have something to look forward to. If they've decided to be a radiologist and uh, they are taking statistics, then they'll understand, you know, why I'm taking this and the fact that I have to take this if I want to pursue this radiology career. And, and so what happens is the curriculum for each industry that the students decide is implemented, you know, uh, th those industries are implemented in the student's curriculum. And so it just really uh, gives them more reinforcement. And again, the big picture is, it's helping them to understand why I'm taking English. What is this going to do for me? How am I going to use this? Okay. Why am I taking science? Because they still take their basic courses, you know, the, the history, the math, the language, the science. They're still taking their basic courses. And the industry that they choose, that curriculum is also being implemented with them. So uh, it, it's, it's, really, uh, it's really been an amazing thing here in Nashville for the academies. This is our second year uh, with this. And we actually modeled this after uh, uh, St. Augustine, Florida. They were doing these academies, and uh, that was a model that we used. And uh, it, it's being used around the nation. Uh, there are other uh, areas and cities that are using this. And I will say that since we have implemented our career academies in our high schools, our high school dropout rate has uh, definitely increased. I mean, decreased. Sorry, it's decreased. Um, you know, we have uh, really gone down, and I think it's like 12%. Uh, that it's gone down. So it's definitely effective. Uh, we've got um, businesses that are partnering, which is kind of my role, is I have to go out and um, engage businesses uh, to want to be a part of these uh, academies because we need the businesses that represent these industries, you know, to be able to uh, come into our schools and partner, we have academy coaches for each high school, and partner with our academy coaches and see how we can implement the curriculum. Also, to be able to provide opportunities, tangible opportunities for the students, to be able to maybe go to some of these industries and see what goes on, observe, even intern during the summertime. So it really is an effective, uh, it's, a, it's a very, very effective program, and we're just proud to uh, be able to have the Academies of Nashville here. Thanks. Um, I want to ask you a question about your businesses. Uh, it may be a couple of businesses that are listening to the show right now, and how would they uh, take part of this program, getting in touch with you, and what are you looking for from the businesses, uh, the years of, 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 of their business being in existence or what are you looking for from the businesses so they can implement something within this program? Okay, now the businesses, uh, the recruitment part of the businesses actually comes from the Pencil Foundation. The Pencil Foundation is our volunteer organization here in Nashville that works with MNPS and they are, and MNPS is Metro Nashville Public Schools, and they are partners to One Nashville. And so if a, if a business um, is interested in working with the academies, then they can actually go through the Pencil Foundation. But Matt Seaton, who is with the Pencil Foundation, that's pretty much uh, his job, is to go out and uh, recruit businesses, answer any questions of businesses that are, that are inquiring uh, about uh, being a partner. Now, these different industries or these different um, uh, schools have what they call 
health partnership councils and the the uh, I'm sorry they're called partnership councils and all of these six industries that I shared with you earlier you know the arts and the health and IT and all that they're all six different partnership councils which is what I manage so once these businesses come in then we have to see where the fit is for them and then we put them in that particular health partnership council and that's where I come in that's probably 80 percent of my role as the uh, director of the business engagement because I manage them once they have come to the table once they have come in they've been fit and say okay you you know you're gonna do well in the hospitality tourism industry then I'm gonna just manage you and there are meetings and there are all kinds of opportunities all through the year that you're gonna be a part of and there are different things that we're gonna need from you okay it just depends on what's uh, the curriculum that's been set up we may need you to for example we're, we're planning right now what we call a career exploration fair this is our third year and it's a it's a business fair for all ninth graders okay so when so when they first get to high school we want to jump them off you know we want them to be hyped up about this and we want them to uh, get a clear understanding so they'll be excited and they'll think, okay, wow, this really is something. You know, it's nothing like catching something in the beginning, okay? Because your first, you know, usually your first perception or something or your first thought, that's usually how it's going to go. And so we want to hype these ninth graders up. So October the 27th, we're having a career fair at our convention center here in Nashville. It's going to go all day. And there's a lot of planning involved, and we're working on that now. Um, and so we're asking different businesses to come and set up your booth so that when these ninth graders come through there they can see firsthand you know okay um, you know you're in the publishing business okay so say for example and, and that's an industry okay so say for example uh, you wanted to be a part of that career fair well you we want you to be a part we want you to come set your booth up set all your stuff up how you have it this interview process set it up let the students come and see you in action we don't want you just be standing there looking we want we want action we're asking the the companies to come and be uh, interactive that day okay let the students really see what you're doing maybe you want to interview one or two of them you know it's up to however you choose to do but that's something you could do as a business to be a part and help with that and if you just do that and nothing else that's going to be a good thing or you can even take it further you know you can do something you can get involved with things all through the year that's where you stuck with me <laughs> you know because because that's what I do I'll be managing you all through the year you know setting your meet you'll come to the meetings we'll be planning uh, strategizing what we're going to be doing uh, everybody comes to the table at those meetings, and that's that's your that's your Matt Seaton Pencil Foundation, that's the Chamber, that's your uh, MNPS, your Academy coaches. Everybody comes to the table and strategize and plan what the next thing we're gonna do. Now, are all the businesses should they be local here in Nashville? You know, most of them, pretty much all of them are, because we do ask. In regard, especially regarding being a part of the health partnership council, I keep saying health, being a part of the partnership council overall, you know, there's six different ones, because we do ask for hands-on, okay, uh, and, and we also ask our companies, you know, if they can do internships in the summer, you know, for some of our students, and we do like for people to be able to come and speak to our students, you know, in their classroom environments. Uh, or for the student, again, to even be able to go to your company and, you know, observe, uh, get some hands-on, tangible awareness of, of what they're trying to go into or what they think they may want to go into. So it is probably more practical if it's a local business. Okay, because um, with JDI Publisher, we are local in Richmond, Virginia, but yet we are a national company. So somebody like that, and maybe another company out there, what could you recommend them to do? 
Well, that may be a Matt Seaton question, actually. Um, but just for me being involved and kind of aware of what's going on, um, the career fair would be something really good. You know, I, I, I could see that um, because you wouldn't necessarily have to be a local company just to be in that industry and to set up. Um, that that would be something good. And then also uh, the academies uh, are always looking for money. So uh, businesses and anybody can donate money to any of the academies at any time. Uh, you can do that through One Nashville, onenashville.org, and go to donate and just uh, indicate on there what it's for. It'll kind of walk you through the, through the process. It's real short. It's like ordering something online, I guess. You know, uh, they take major you know credit cards, or you can send a check and just indicate this is for the academies of Nashville. So that's another way that you can play a part. That this is just great. I remember hearing you. We were just sitting around. Uh, I was over to uh, uh, Rita McDonald's house, and she was talking about this. And it's just I couldn't stop listening to it because I said I have to get you on the show because this is such a great project, and I can see it growing to so many different cities around the U.S. and even on other countries that. We have uh, we have the Caribbeans that's listening to the show. We have London. We have so many other countries. We even have a Japan that listens to the show. So this this little program here that you all have can be implemented in areas where they have the high rate of uh, dropout and everything else because you want to get the students' interest and. If they're not interested in doing anything, why should I do it? What am I going to get out of it? But this is such an awesome, awesome program. I'm just so proud to be, you know, involved in it, even just the show and just kind of spreading it out all over the world. I just felt like the world needs to know about this program. Now, one last question. If somebody just want to get started, how would you recommend them to get started? You mean with the academies? Yes. Well, they can call the chamber, Nashville Area Chamber of Commerce, Rita McDonald, uh, and my direct number is 615-743-3152, or you can shoot me an email, rmcdonald at nashvillechamber.com, and that's the letter R is in Rita, M-C-D-O-N-A-L-D, at nashvillechamber.com, and then I can be happy to further direct you. That is so awesome. I'm thinking about going back to Richmond and try to implement this in the school system. And I have brought a sister with me, and she lives in the she's in the Norfolk uh, school system, and she's a teacher. And then the Virginia Beach school, uh, school system. And I mean, I can see this in Petersburg. I'm I must get this information so I can take something back with us. And please, please, please go to our website, NashvilleChamber.com www.nashvillechamber.com and once you go to our website go to education and it'll take you and show you all of our programs and the academies of Nashville and stay on the website and it'll even reiterate and give you much more information that I've been able to give you today I was just trying to touch on certain things but check out our website and then it'll get, you'll get the full view of what the academies is all about thanks I am just so proud to have my sister, Rita McDonough, here at the Chamber of Commerce here in Nashville, Tennessee. Nashville has gotten so beautiful since I left. <laughs> I've been coming back a little bit too much this year. <laughs> it looks so wonderful here. And I am just so proud to know about this program. Any last things that you would like to tell our listening audience today? i just like to thank you for having, having us on today uh, to spread the good news because that is what it's all about. And both of these programs that I'm responsible for, One Nashville as well as the Academies, um, certainly go check them out again on our website. And uh, they are great models. And, uh, and to spread the word and, you know, just to, to tell everybody about those programs. And, uh, again, if any of you have any questions about them, feel free to contact me. And... Uh, and we'll just go from there. But, you know, at the end of the day, all of this is, is for the kids. It's for the students. Uh, and it's a win-win situation because these students, whether we like it or not, are our future. 
And so it's a matter of us. Are we going to invest now or are we going to do it later? And later might not be a good picture because if we do it later, we may be investing in some things we don't want to, such as your prisons and your graveyards. And so let's think about that, you know, just to share that. Uh, you know, they are our future. It's a win-win on both sides. If we can produce productive citizens to come back into our economy, that's a win-win. Thank you. Amen. Thank you so much, Ms. Rita McDonald, the cha Nashville Chamber of Commerce here in Nashville, Tennessee. This is Evangelist Jimmy Jumra with the Publishing Hour show, and we will be right back with our next guest. JDI Publisher, where we publish your book the right way the first time. We will take your book from a dream, idea, to the major retailers like Bonds and Nobles and other stores. We also distribute non-published authors across the country. Call us today at 804-591-5956 or check us out on the web at www.joniquedesign.com. That's J-O-N-I-Q-U-E. D-E-S-I-G-N dot com. Publish your book today. Travel season is here. Whether you're flying solo with friends, family, or church missionary groups, travel insurance can protect you from the unexpected things that happen. Call today to see just how affordable protecting yourself can be. Call James Fry. That's F-R-Y-E at Fry Financial Group. 434 nine nine six four eight three zero or email james at fryfinancialgroup.com call today <laughs> 